reasons. And one of the first reasons is because last week we read some stories that had words that repeated themselves. If you remember that. Well, this week my story has words that repeat itself too. So if you're very good and you know what the words are going to be, you can say them with me at the right time. Okay? All right. Now, the other reason I chose my story is because it has all kinds of things in it that we can learn about. And one of them is science. I love science. And one of them is time. And one of them is about small and bigger. And one of them is about manners and how to behave. So it has all kinds of great things in it, okay? Before I tell you the story, the author gave us a note about his story. And he wanted us to know about aphids. And aphids are tiny little insects that suck the juice out of leaves. But ladybugs like to eat aphids. So they're very good for trees, shrubs, and plants that have leaves. Okay? And the author dedicated his book to ladybugs. Three cheers for ladybugs, right? Because they're good. All right. My story today is called The Grouchy Ladybug. And the author is Eric Carl. It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up, and a friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with some aphids on it and decided it wanted to eat them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We could share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, said the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. Bob, the grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Well, I think that you are too little for me to fight. Then why don't you find somebody bigger, said the friendly ladybug. I'll do that, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock. It met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. But I can sting. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it met a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, Want to fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its long front arms. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Yes, it is. At nine o'clock, it almost...
crows flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Do you know what words I'm repeating? You can say them with me. You can say them with me. Big enough. Okay, you can say them with me when the time comes, okay? At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, as it started to raise its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 o'clock, at 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily <laughs> and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the At three o'clock, it met a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. That's the biggest thing. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, as it raised its trunk and showed its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew on. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's flippers, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer. Because it so it flew on at 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whales, Finn, hey you, want to fight? But it got no 
answer at all. So it's one at quarter to six. The grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you! Want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and it flew across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, said the friendly ladybug, here you are again. You must be very hungry. There are some aphids left. Who can have them for dinner? Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The leaf can't talk. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end.